In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Mouser's Media Browser, which is a program for browsing large directories of images. You can see the basic interface here. On the top left, I have uh, the subfolders underneath my root folder, which I've chosen here. And you've got a little list of um, recent folders that you can choose. As I click in here, it'll go into these uh, subdirectories. By default, when I click on a folder, it's showing the recursive contents. So when I click here, I'm seeing all the contents of all of these subfolders. Here are the thumbnails of all the files. Obviously, when I click on one, it'll load it here. And the bottom, we see the file name, size, dimensions, and the creation date. We can resize any of these panels here. If we change the thumbnail size, we can see multiple thumbnails there. We've got a couple different views here. This is with the thumbnail strip on the left. We can choose the thumbnail strip on the top or we can go into grid mode, which is basically just thumbnails. We can make those thumbnails bigger. And of course, I've got this whole window open on a fairly small screen for recording. Um, let's go back to our default with the thumbnail strip on the left. Now, um, all of this is fairly typical for an image viewer or browser, but I'm going to show you the one aspect of the program that's fairly unique, which is this virtual date tree here. If you see, I've selected this folder here, this test, and I'm viewing all the contents of the subdirectories. Now notice on my disk, I've got these images arranged by category into these subfolders. But below, it's organized these files by date. So it's actually scanned all of the files in here, in this case, 362 of them. And it's sorted them all by year and month. Um, you can see in the top, we have all of them, all 362. And then if I click here, I'm looking at all the files, all the images taken in 2016. Here are all the ones in 2017, 2018, 2019. Here are all the images from March of 2016. Now, if you have a lot of folders, for, in fact, let me just go to this one that's slightly larger. This is a uh, couple hundred, uh, a couple gigabyte um, folder here. Um, and you can see most of them are from December of 2010. Here are all my 2011s. OK, so you can also go, if we go into the options here, File Options, um, we've got various options for resizing the thumbnails. Um, but here we go. We can go, and if you've got a lot of files that are broken up to finer grain in dates, you could enable this option. And now when we rescan this, we can see it's actually broken up by the day of the month. So here are all images created on the 3rd of August 2010, the 4th of August 2010, the 7th of August. Here's 16th of December, 17th of December, 23rd of December and so on. So this is a great feature for drilling down to find images from a specific date. And you can see at a glance, you can see where most of them were taken. Most of the in 2011 were taken in January. In fact, only all on two different days, the 16th, and then most of them on the 17th. We can also um, filter here. So most of these files are organized with fairly generic names. But for example, if I search for deck, hit enter, it's now searched through these uh, eight gigabytes of files. 
and it's found in this recursive uh, directory tree. It's found the five that have deck in the file name, and then we could do other things. For example, let's clear this. Okay, now let's look at our archive. We've got uh, 1,400 uh, images, and we could say, let's see, they're all from 2010. It's a little tricky, or 2018. Okay, we could say, show me all the images that are at least 600 days old. Okay, that's most. Okay, so 3,300 days old. Now we're back in the 2010s, and we could say at most 3,350 days old. Okay, so anyway, you can see the point. You can narrow down very quickly the range of dates for the files, and then you can see them filtered out here. Um, what else can we do? We can do normal things. We can delete images, copy them, all the standard stuff that you would expect. Uh, if you're always dealing with certain folders, you can add them. They automatically get added to the most recent uh, folder list, but you can also edit that by hand in the options. Um, we can quickly go to the folder of the image we're viewing, et cetera, et cetera, and quickly clear the filter. Now we're back to seeing all of our files. So there you go, quick uh, tour of Mouser's media browser.